discuss multiplication of fraction. Paano nga ba tayo mag-multiply ng fraction? Sa so, pag-multiply ng fraction, madali lang naman po. Tanda lang natin yung formula sa pag-multiply po ng fraction. So, sabi doon sa formula natin, so, to find the product of a fraction, just simply multiply the numerator times numerator. Ibig sabihin, yung nasa taas, kailangan lang po natin i-multiply din sa taas or sa numerator, sa kapwa numerator po. Okay? Over denominator times denominator. Multiply numerator times numerator over denominator times denominator. Okay, let's start. So, example number one is one half, one half times three fourth. Times three fourth. Kung multiply po tayo ng fraction na sabi ng kanina, numerator times numerator, denominator times denominator. So, kailangan lang po natin multiply yung mga nasa taas. Then, kailangan lang din po natin multiply yung nasa baba. So, 1 times 3 is equal to 3. And, yung denominator po natin, denominator times denominator. So, 2 times 4 is equal to 8. So, after natin multiply yung dalawang fraction po natin, identify po natin, let's, um, let's find out kung pwede pa po natin i-lose term or i-simplify po yung nakuha po natin yung sagot. Sa nakuha, na, sa nakuha po natin sagot, 3 over 8, pwede pa po ba siyang ilawas term? Hindi na po pwede. Kasi wala na po common factor yung numerator po natin na 3 and yung denominator po natin na 8. So, the final answer is 3 over 8. Naintin na yan? Okay. Another example. So, example number 2 po natin, 6 over 7 times 5 over 8. So, sa pag-multiply ng fraction, pwede po natin gamitin yung cancellation method. Pag sinabi natin cancellation method, identify the common factor of numerator and denominator. Pwede nasa kabila yung numerator and nasa kabila po yung denominator. Okay po tayo doon. So, tingnan natin. Tingnan natin kung pwede bang mag-lowest or nito or mag-cancel ng common factor sa 6 over 7. Wala. Dito naman po sa 5 over 8, pwede bang mag-cancel? Wala. Pero tingnan natin, yung numerator dito at denominator natin sa kabila, pwede po bang mag-cancel? May common factor po ba yung numerator natin na 6 at denominator po natin na 8 sa kabila? Yes po, pwede po. Anong common factor po ng 6 at 8? 2. Okay, cancel po natin yan. So kapag kinala, 6 divided by 2 is equal to 3. Then yung 8, ano po yung matitira na lang? So 8 divided by 2 is equal to 4. Meron pa po ba? Check natin mabuti kung may common factor po yung numerator and denominator po. Pwede po natin apply yung cancellation. So, after natin apply yung cancellation, pwede na po tayo mag-proceed sa numerator times numerator, denominator times denominator. So, 3 times 5 is equal to 15. And yung denominator po natin na 7 times 4 is equal to 28. Para sa niya ba ginagamit yung cancellation? So, ginagamit natin yung cancellation kapag nag-multiply po tayo ng fraction para hindi na po natin i-lowest term pa. So, kapag in-apply po natin yung cancellation sa pag-multiply ng, ng fraction, automatic po, naka-lowest term na po yung makukuha natin sagot. Kaya na yan? So, kung ayaw natin, pwede naman po hindi natin gamitin yung cancellation. Pwede po natin gamitin na lang yung numerator times numerator over denominator times denominator. Then, identify mo, kung tignan mo po, tignan mo mabuti kung pwede pa po natin i-lowest term or i-simplify yung nakuha po natin sa gawin. Identify the common factor of numerator and denominator. Naintindihan? 